Mr. Gordon, Mr. Wilkins here alleges that after the assault you said, you swine, you killed my wife, I'll slit your throat. Is that true? No, that isn't true. I didn't say that. I said, you swine, you got a knife, you slit my coat. You said what? Your Honor, I, I mistook this old beggar, this, uh, this old gentleman here, for a pickpocket who robbed me. Had you any reason to believe that either the beggar or Mr. Wilkins had murdered your wife? Oh, no, you... None at all, Your Honor. Well, then how then do you explain saying, you killed my wife? <laughs> I, I didn't say that, Your Honor. Well, then what did you say? Uh, well, I, I said, you ruined my wife. You mean that old gentleman ruined your wife? I've never looked at a woman for 40 years. <laughs> no, no, Your Honor, I, I didn't mean that. I meant, uh, I meant life, my well, life. Then say what you mean. Uh, thank, thank you very much, Mr. Gordon. But you see, Your Honor, I, Mr. Mr. Gordon, thank you. You were all conditioned. Thank you. My husband, now, and I... My client can only express a deep regret for the assault, Your Worship, but I trust this explanation will satisfy you that it was a genuine mistake under extreme provocation. It doesn't. Mr. Gordon is obviously lying, and obviously, too, he hit the wrong man. Anything known? Nothing known, sir. Fine, five pounds. And keep out of trouble in future. Thank you, Your Honor, but this I'm... Way. Slit your coat, you liar! <laughs> Number 14 on your list, sir. William Delaney Gordon. Back again. William Delaney Gordon, you're charged with using insulting behaviour whereby a breach of the peace may have been occasioned at Bladen Drive, London, on the night of May the 16th. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Absolutely not guilty. Well, it was my fire. I'm surely entitled to do what I... I swear by Almighty God, the evidence I give should be the truth, the old truth, and nothing but the truth. James Smith, Police Constable 166S Division, Your Worship. At 9pm on the 16th, Instar was giving assistance at a fire. Despite protests, the accused dived twice into the building, not to be brought out. When he attempted it a third time, I tackled him from behind and received him full in the stomach. Whereupon we struggled on the ground. He was hysterical and said, Mummy, oh mummy, I wish I was dead too. He addressed you as mummy. <laughs> I, I don't know, Your Worship. I took him to the station where he was charged and cautioned, and he said, give me a ruddy rope and I'll hang myself now. <laughs> no one in their right mind would address you as mummy. I put it to you that you misheard. Mr. Gordon's daughter asked him why he dashed into the fire. He replied, bunny. She, mishearing him, exclaimed, money. And he said, bunny, no bunny. I wish I was dead too. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. You allege it went, money, mummy, and bunny, oh bunny. No, sir, no, sir. Um, bunny, money, and bunny, no bunny. No mummy at all. Bunny, money, and bunny, oh bunny. No, sir, no, sir. Bunny, no bunny. Not oh bunny. Oh, bunny. Bunny, oh. Really, does it matter? Oh, very much, Your Worship. Excuse me, sir. It was money. Mummy and mummy. No bunny was mentioned in my hearing. Mr. Gordon had a cold. What? Well, what's that got to do with it? Oh, with a cold in the nose, money sounds like bunny. I've lost a lot of buddy. The, the truth is, as my client will testify, he mentioned neither money nor mummy, but bunny. His budge rigger. <laughs> And I should like you to note, Your Worship, that my client's feathered friend was lost on that fateful night. I should like to call Mr. Gold. Where are we going? I'm getting you out of there before they call you as a witness. Why? Well, uh, did you ever own a budgerigar called Bunny? No. I thought so. And what did you hear your father say at the fire? Yes, he did say Mommy. Exactly. And by the way, where is your mother? Oh, Tommy, I wish I knew. All right, don't worry about it. That's what we're going to find out now. When you arrived to find your home in flames, what was your first thought? My canary. Parrot. Budgerigar! Kindly don't answer your own questions. <laughs> but, Your Honor, uh, a budgerigar is a species of parrot. Now, stop it. When forcibly restrained from your rescue attempt, what did you cry out? I 
cried out the name of the bird. Pinky. Uh, Bonzi? Bunny. Oh, Bunny. Bunny. Really, this is all highly improper. As you very well know, you must not prompt your own witness. Any questions? No, Your Worship. Yeah, I'm extremely sorry, Your Honour, but my one thought was to save the little perisher, the, the little bird from perishing in the flames. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Mr. Gordon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Your Worship, I'm quite sure that you realise that this whole affair, this entire business, is due to a misunderstanding. Yes, quite so, yes. I am persuaded that you were probably trying to rescue something much more valuable than a bird, and that is money. Spelt C-A-S-H. Cash. Find ten pounds. Cash. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honour, and believe me... I shan't believe you, Mr. Gordon. Go away. I've seen and heard quite enough of you for one day. Next case, please. Well, that's a pity, because... Come along. <laughs> Number 15 on your list, sir. William Delaney Gordon. Gordon, you are charged with causing unnecessary obstruction with your car at Astor Street on May the 16th, and further with assaulting Police Constable Clutter whilst in the execution of his duty. <laughs> you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. I swear by Almighty God that the evidence I give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth.